three dogs from North Carolina went on a nearly thousand mile adventure to get to their new forever homes here in Vermont. The Freedom Flight landed in Morrisville today and our Haley Morgan was there to greet them. We are tasked with the responsibility of, of making sure they are cared for. And caring for these furry friends is exactly what North Country Animal League and Pilots and Paws did. The two nonprofits banded together to bring Phantom, Tyler, and Star back from North Carolina. The three dogs were removed from kill shelters by the SPCA and were sent up north to find new homes. Morristown's North Country Animal League says this has been a long time coming. So it's an idea that we've sort of always wanted to entertain you know the shelter's only half a mile from the airport and so it's a resource that we feel like we should use and it really sort of just fell into place this time. Ryan Bliss has been a volunteer pilot for Pilots and Paws for a couple years now. The nonprofit's mission is to provide a safe environment in which volunteers can come together and arrange the rescue flights. Ryan says the majority of dogs he picks up are from kill shelters which are common in the south and being a a dog lover himself, he wanted to do something to help them. There's a huge supply of dogs that are being killed in shelters that need to go to non-kill shelters, but fewer and fewer sites are um, having people come in and adopt dogs. If you can take these cats and dogs to your shelters, we can really help them out a lot. Organizers from the North Country Animal League say this is their first time doing this. The pilot for this run, Toby Shine, says this was also his first time bringing the dogs to their new home. There were two other pilots who flew today to get these dogs up from North Carolina so we decided at an airport to meet up at. I just love that there's such a community of people who are taking care of these animals who really really need it. Now the dogs are going to go back to the shelter at North Country Animal League and they'll have some downtime for about two days. They'll get checked on Tuesday for a health check and then if all goes well they should be up for adoption by the afternoon. In Morrisville, Haley Morgan, Channel 3 News.